Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to film with you guys what's in my Ikea five drawers. I have one, two, three, four of them lined up on the side of my wall. I always take pictures of this little area on Instagram, so this is what's underneath. If I have time, depending how fast we get through it, I can go over the top, but... I think my camera is about 38 to 40 minutes before it shuts off. So if I see it getting to that time, I guess I'll stop it and then maybe film a part two and upload them separately. So let's just get into it since I know this is going to be a long video. And my cat is making a cameo. Hey, Chatty. He just ate, so he's fat. <laughs> so my very first drawer... Um, I just have some lipsticks in. This organizer is from For Her Vanity on Instagram. And I have it in a Tiffany blue color. She can make any color, but I actually ordered a, a bundle of organizers from her. And I got half Tiffany blue and half pink. So this one comes like, if you see this line right here, it's for the way this drawer is set up so I can pull half this out and then the other half um so these are a bunch of color pop lipsticks I love their lipsticks they are so affordable and they are so so pretty these in front are I think from the Disney color pop collaboration then I have some L'Oreal lipsticks some Lorac these four lip glosses are just kind of hanging out because they go with the actual lipstick here like it was a set and since the lipsticks don't fit without, if I stand them up, I can't close the drawer, so I just have them there. I, I love the boxes from the Disney collection, so they're just there. I have a few from Mickey Songs. I love her lipsticks. I love the packaging. I have a lot more, but they're on top of the other side of my vanity. These are, I believe, Gigi Hadid collaboration, yeah, with Maybelline. And I have some KKW, some Morphe. So that's this drawer. Drawer number two is... Um, it's kind of random, actually. I got these organizers. They're like little white baskets that I found at Walmart. And here I have... Um, this is like all my reds. This is all my pinks. This is all my nudes. And then back here we have just miscellaneous glosses and stuff. But these the reds pinks and nudes they're everything they're glosses they're liquid lipsticks they're crayon lip crayons they're everything um they're just random lippies that i have that i didn't have anywhere else to put so whenever i want a pretty red or a pretty pink or a pretty nude i look in here and back there i have an extra basket i was gonna try and make that like purples or like some random color but to be honest i don't ever wear purple lipsticks so i don't have a lot I actually give them away every time I get them. Then this drawer, I keep my blush palettes. And these are supposed to be for bigger palettes. Um, so this is a custom palette from ColourPop that I made. Another custom palette from ColourPop. I have the Tarte blushes back here. Those are the blush books, one and two. Then this was another little blush palette they came out with. My Benefit blush bar. Here's the, the newest chart book from this year. I'm happy they made it a lot smaller than those big circles back there. This is the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay blush. I have a MAC palette. It's not full. I only have three in there. Still working on it. This is a Sephora Collection blush palette. I have some Morphe blush palettes. Um, BH Cosmetics back here. I have some NARS. The Anastasia Beverly Hills and these are by pop the urban decay and then I actually just found these when I was Christmas shopping for other people and you know I had to find something for myself these are from Marshall's they are they were $7.99 these are still $24 regular price at Ulta these are the bare minerals gin nude powder blushes and I've heard a lot of good things about them and they had peachy ones 
and I couldn't resist. So those are just there. This isn't where they belong, but my actual blush drawer is so full. So it had to go with the blush palette drawer. So that's that drawer. Next drawer, I have all of my highlighter palettes. I have like mostly the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits. I have Jeffree Star Pro palettes. I have the Kylie Cosmetics Wet Set. I have the one she did with her mom. I have KKW. This is Wet and Wild. Morphe Bretman collaboration in here. Kathleen Lights Makeup Geek. This is such a pretty palette. I always forget about it. But I love this one. If I can get it open. So that is Kathleen Lights and Makeup Geek. And I have Makeup Revolution here. Urban Decay. And then back here. I don't hardly get back there. But I do have some loose little highlighter situations. And this is very random but I keep a lot of makeup remover because I had this space there and when I do swatches here in the beauty room I go and look for a cleanser to wipe them off so that's what's in there oh and this one's the newest one I haven't even played with her this is the Fenty Beauty one so pretty let's see if I can get this open I have so many highlighters, but you can never have too many, right? So that is her. So pretty. Alright, so that's this drawer. Last drawer. I actually just finished organizing it. I have eyeshadow palettes that don't really have a home anywhere else in, in the room. So, they're very random. I have... This is a palette I've had forever, and I absolutely love it. It was a Sephora collaboration with Jim. And... Let's see if I can get it open. I use this so much. It used to be, like, one of my only palettes. And... Colors are so pretty. But I haven't played with her in a long time. And look at the packaging. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Okay. Moving on. More random eyeshadow palettes. Um, actually, I have contour kits in here. Uh, Shan XO BH Cosmetics. This is the Perception Palette with Makeup Shayla. In ColourPop. These are Makeup Forever palettes. These are um, Tarte little mini palettes that you can customize. The ColourPop Brown Sugar Karuchi collab. And then this back here, this is what I actually just spent some time trying to do and I love it. Love the way it came out. Um, these are my Natasha Denona little palettes here and I just got this cranberry one that my bestie on Instagram sent me uh, thank you Melissa so that's super pretty I haven't had a chance to play with her but it's gorgeous and then these are my dose of color palettes the like blushing berries the sienna's marvelous malls baked browns and then I just got this new one, the Snow Angels one. My work mom got me that for Christmas. So I'm so excited to have that now. And what's this guy? Oh, this is a NARS eyeshadow palette that I stuck in there. And I believe they still have one more, the Dose of Colors. Uh, pretty cool. I need to find that one so that she can live there. And then over here on the side, I have my Shade and Light palettes, eyeshadow palettes. Um, it's that one. And then I love the way this box looks. So I have the Shimmer one right next to it. So that's this drawer. Guys, I am sweating. Just started this video and I'm already like, whew, I'm hot. Alright, moving on to the next set. 
I have some organizers here from By Allegory. They're a brand that you can find on Amazon. They're super affordable and I love them. They have pink, they have clear, I think they have purple. Um, they have a mincy color. I always try and get the pink ones if they're in stock, but most of the time they're not. So I have some random clear ones here and there. These are all, this drawer is super random. Another drawer that I didn't have homes or a lot of stuff, so I just made it a thing. So I think I have some Pop Beauty highlighters here. There's a few Ofra highlighters. There's some Wet n Wild bronzers and blushes. There's some eyeshadow palettes that are just living here. All of my drawer cosmetic star powders. Um, I have my Stila highlighters, like those cushiony ones. And I have back there the highlighters by Smashbox and Vlada on Instagram. And then over here, I just have powders. These are like loose powders, loose highlighter powders. The ColourPop Shayla ones are back there. And over on the side, I just have a bunch of eyeshadow quads from MAC Cosmetics. It was like a perfect spot to fit them in, so I don't know why I'd, I call those quads when clearly there's 369 in there. But those little MAC eyeshadow palettes, Patrick Stars, and then I think this one's from ABH, but it's like the same exact style as these you see the packaging so that's the only one i have from abh so that is this drawer moving along if you guys follow me on instagram i posted this morning that i got some organizers in from by allegory that i ordered on amazon and i was super excited because i wanted to finish this drawer so i can get this video up and they came this morning so this drawer is all new just done today this is the organizers that I bought. I have two here. So they hold 16 eyeshadows. And these are just like, um, oops. This is MAC Star Trek collaboration. Um, these are, I don't even know what these are called, but they're so pretty. Let's see. Um, mineralized eyeshadows. I don't like a lot of individual eyeshadows. I hate individual eyeshadows because... I don't have time to be reaching for like, oh, remember that one shadow that I really like? No, i rather have a palette. So these are my Milani ones, and I'm obsessed with those actually, and I wish I wasn't because, like I just said, I don't like many things, but I just placed an order on Milani because they had a sell, so I ordered enough so that I can fill up my 16 and have a lot. So I'm waiting for that order to come in. This is just the empty um palette makeup forever i never got their round eyeshadows when they had them and i know they changed them they're like squares now but i'm just holding on to this for no apparent reason so i'm just gonna put that there these back here i have sort of eyeshadow creamy stuff like Eyeshadow pencils, I guess they're called. Crayons. It's just a bunch of them in there. Random and different brands. Here I have my Maybelline um, Mini City palettes. And then I have these two smaller Kat Von D Shade and Light palettes. Like the minis. They fit in there perfectly with the four Maybelline palettes that I have. I love these little Mini City palettes. They are so pretty. Look at that. I think this is the one I use the most, actually, the Downtown Sunrise one. But there's one that I really want to use. I haven't used it yet. This is the Makeup Shayla one. This is the one I want to use. Isn't that pretty? Whoa. So pretty. This one is called Girls Night Glimmer. Might as well show you the last one. That is the last one I have. And this one is called Concrete Runway. So, here I have another little dollar situation basket. And these are all Wet n Wild eyeshadows here. Like the little mini guys. I have an Avon eyeshadow. A crown brush. These are from Lime Crime. There's some more 
Avon, there's Elf, and I think this is the Bomb. Yeah, a little sample. Or I don't know what they call those, but it came in like one of my, I think, an Ipsy bag. And then here I just have loose glitters, and I have my glitter glue for when I want to. This is the Too Faced glitter. There's another one. I think I have a gold one and a silver one. And I have some pretty, pretty, this looks so cute. A girl on Instagram actually sent me this. I think she has her own brand, and she sent this to me. And that looks so pretty. I should have wore that for Christmas, but I was super, super chill on Christmas. Um, and that's it. It's just a little tray with my little glitters. I don't have a lot, so they fit perfectly in there. And that's this drawer. I cannot wait for my Milani order to come in just so I can fill that up. And the MAC one I'm not too concerned with. Um, I'll let those, I'll leave that room there for me to grow when I do eventually find some more. But I'm, I honestly, I'm not a huge fan of MAC eyeshadows. Like, they just don't perform, like, as good as other stuff that I have. So, we'll see. This next drawer is another random. I have some more of the ColourPop Disney collection. This, honestly, I haven't had a chance to play with, so I didn't even want to put it away. A lot of stuff in this drawer is stuff that I haven't used that I want to use. Um, these are the ColourPop Disney lip glosses. My Too Faced highlighters that were sent to me in PR, the Diamond Lights. I haven't had a chance to play with those. This is the highlighting brush that they recommend that you use with it. I have a bunch of my Sol de Janeiro stuff back here. I have my personalized bum bum cream they send me. I have the Acai Body Power Cream. I have my mini bum bum, boom boom, bum bum. And I have the new Coco Cabana one. Oh my god, that smells so good. Um, here is another, oh, it's just a box. I have my Biggie Biggie back there. And this is just some packaging, um, the KKW packaging. This was just a flyer that came with my Sol de Janeiro stuff. Um, I have this Pretty Pop Beauty one that I want to play more with. I have Urban Decay Born to Run palette, another item that my bestie sent me. So happy to have that. The Kylie Sipping Pretty Palette. Just got that in during the Black Friday sale, so I haven't used it yet. That's just the box. My ABH Sultry Palette. Haven't had a chance to use it yet. ColourPop Disney. Don't know if I'm going to use it. It's just so pretty. Um, I have a custom Kylie Palette here. And I don't have Kylie Cosmetics eyeshadows in there, but I love the pink palette. These are all ColourPop. And... I think I'm going to continue filling up with ColourPop ones, but I wanted this pretty pink palette, so I ordered that. And then I have my Ofra Pro palettes here. I love Ofra palettes, and I had I had these two black ones, and then, you know, they just recently got a makeover with their brand, and they changed everything to this white packaging, and I just wanted something new with the white, and I think this one was on sale at Ulta recently so I ordered it and it has highlighter bronzer mini highlighter banana powder blushes eyeshadows super cute so now I have three of their pro palettes they're they're kind of pricey I think they're like $60 70 maybe but I think it was on sale 50% off when I bought it so actually all three of them I always buy them when they're on sale so and this drawer, this is where I keep all of my caption polish um, nail art. They send me PR, if you guys didn't know. And they have a bunch of different art screens and things that you can do. I like very basic nails. I just like to polish them. So I haven't really played with these, but I will eventually. And... I think they're really cute. I just haven't had a chance to sit down and read the instructions what I have to do. 
Here I have some extra caption polish. Um, whenever I get sent PR and I get duplicate colors, I kind of put it to the side so I can have a giveaway for you guys. So that's what those are. And I have some KL polish. Um, that's Kathleen White's brand. Um, they've been kind of sitting, so I need to shake them off because you can see the top of this one. Looks like it needs to be shook. I love this color though. This is called Central Park. She wanted to name it after um, Central Park. That's the place in the movie, in the show Friends, if you guys are Friends fans. And I had to have that color because I love Friends. And this was her Death Expensive. This was the volume two. I missed the volume one. So I think. She said she's going to try and do a that expensive polish every year. So I hope to continue getting them. So this is my like extra nail polish supplies. Here, this is, this is random, but this is, I say that about every drawer. This is random. Actually, these are my random drawers. If you guys saw my other tour, my nine Alex drawer, that's where I keep all my everyday makeup. So this is all extra. This, I love pink, so whenever I get packages from, like, Too Faced, I want to save some of that. Especially when I do giveaways and I'm going to send you guys stuff, I want to have some of that pink stuff. So, this is just kind of, like, props. And these are some rose petals that I think were in a package, and I thought they would be cute for Instagram photos, so I'm holding on to those. This is just a makeup bag that I bought on Amazon, and that's a Too Faced makeup bag down there so it's just like i say at random the next sorry guys i am gonna scooch over a little bit and i'm gonna take a sip of my coffee because i need it okay so we have two more to go and we're at 22 minutes so i might have to cut this at the 40 minute mark and do a part two for the top. So, all right, this light is going to be in the way. This drawer is stuff that I just recently got that I'm still wanting to try. I just got this Morphe 8H Hi-Fi Sculpt and Shimmer Palette. It's so pretty. Um, I got that at Ulta the other day. And... This was a Christmas present from my husband. It's the Tardius, the Tarte Pro Glow and Blush. It's like highlighters and blush. And he knows I love blushes. So I'm so happy he got me that. He also got me this Becca Volcano Goddess Pressed Highlighter. I didn't have this one and I have a lot of the Becca ones. So I'm so happy for that. This is a Pixie what do they call it ultimate beauty kit fifth edition pixie sends me pr and i got this recently and i wanted to take pictures before i started swatching it so that's why that's there then i have the last of my pretty presents that my bestie sent me she sent me this busy art palette the libertine i have nothing um busy art in my collection so i'm so excited about that and then she sent me these two minis from violet boss the fruit sorbet and the berry burst eyeshadow palettes and they're so pretty they're they're like fun size and the colors are so so look at that wow so that's that one and the berry one I hate these little papers that are inside the balance. I always throw them away. Oh, it closed on me. Hold on. That's the very one. I already swatched this one because I had to. So that's that. And then these are the MAC. This was last year and this year's like the little lipstick bundle. This is just so huge. I have nowhere in my entire room to put this because I'm just so out of space. So, it just lives there. And 
I'm going to put these back in here until I have a chance to play with them and take pictures. So that's that. And then the next drawer is similar. It is stuff that I have not had a chance to play with. I already posted a picture of these LA Girl palettes. This is their holiday collection. Um, one is a highlighter, six color highlighter, and then a 20, I'm sorry, 35 color eyeshadow palette. And this packaging, whoa, Ooh. whoa, right? And they were 50% off recently. I don't know if they still are, but check also because they're a really good deal. Here I have foundations that I need to review. I was sent the Maybelline Super Stay Stick Foundations. Um, in all of the shades for me to review. So I still have to test that. ColourPop also sent me their stick foundation, the no filter. Um, and I was a fan of the liquid, so I'm excited to try this. They sent me two shades. I think I mixed them and they worked. I have medium neutral 81 and medium neutral 83. And I think I might be like an 82 if they would have had that color because when I mixed them, they were perfect. So those are that. And then I also have these foundations that Laura Geller sent me. And it's the Filter First Luminous Foundation. And lately I have been loving Luminous, even though I have oily skin. I just kind of like it. Um, so I have medium and beige. And I don't know if those are right for me, but... I will give them a try. And they also sent me their Filter First Concealer, Luminous Concealer, in the shade Light. So I'll be testing those very soon. This back here is purchases that are so freaking cute that I don't think I'm ever going to open. Which I really wanted to try this lipstick, but I don't want to take it out. It's so cute. So, that... And then this back here is another super cute package that I don't want to open. This is from Profusion Cosmetics where you can get this at Target. Super, super cheap. It's probably like $10 for this. And I love this pink glitter out outline that they have. The border on this packaging. So I don't want to take this out. But maybe. We'll see. So those two are in there because... I'm retarded, and I don't want to open them. And these are the same situations, like, too cute, so just stay there. This is a drawer full of kind of giveaway stuff that might be coming up for you guys. And I had some extra Artiste brushes that I'm deciding... What kind of giveaway to do with those? I have some extra pixie lipsticks. I have a maybe a MAC lipstick that's going in a giveaway. And these are just makeup bags. I have so many makeup bags that when I get them, I kind of put them to the side. Because I like to send goodie bags with my giveaway. So I'll just take a cute makeup bag and fill it up with a bunch of samples and stuff. And extras. So that's what... It's kind of like a giveaway drawer. And then here... I have another organizer from For Her Vanity, and same thing, she has it where this little part can come out, and the reason she does that is, um, I can pull this out and then I can slide this one forward so that I can get to the back. So I actually have a bunch of Urban Decay in here, and I think right here I have a It Cosmetics and my two KKW, her Mario, and then I don't know which one that is called. Um, yeah, I don't know. But I have two KKW palettes. And then these are all Urban Decay. It's like the Naked Cherry, the Heat, the one, two, Smoky, and then the Essential or something. Basics, Ultimate Basics. And then I have this one, which was from the summer. It's so pretty, the Beached. And then I have some Guerlain. You guys know what those are, right? The meteorites? I keep those little tins here. So, this is that drawer. 
This one is random. Closing it back up. My information's on there. Those are just receipts for recent purchases so that I can find them easily in case I have to return anything. And my last drawer. If you guys notice, I have these pink knobs. I don't have them here, here, but then I have them there. I have them on the two outside ones. Um, I need to order some more for the inside. These two were my most recent additions. My husband bought them for me. I used to keep this open so that I can have leg room there but I just ran out of space because this is like a vanity so I wanted to be able to sit there but I was like forget forget sitting who needs to sit I need space for my makeup so all right I'm gonna walk down here and I got like 10 minutes to get this one done because we're running out of time so in here this is Mac Mariah Carey collection and Mac Selena back here. Um, these are my two. They're not my two favorite, but I went crazy. I bought every. I bought backups of the entire Mariah and Selena collection, so I have a lot of it. So they have their own drawer. I love the packaging of the Mariah. Oh, it's so pretty. So that whole drawer is Mariah and Selena. And this drawer, I have all of my MAC. These are mineral skin finishes. And this organizer, again, these are pink now. The other half of my order from For Her Vanity. So, that's my... I think this whole, all four of these, four out of five of these are MAC. This is my MAC limited edition drawer. I love the packaging of the limited edition makeup so here I have recently got this and I didn't have anywhere to put it so I just shoved the whole box in here but these are all matte compacts back there the limited edition this organizer is from sunny s-o-n-n-y um, cosmetics on Instagram and they have different ones not sure how many this one holds but they have like so the difference in some of them, the back section, the back slots might be like this size so that you can fit wider ones. But this particular unit, all of them are this size because I knew all it was going to be from Mac and they're that thin. So I didn't need the wider backs, but I do have some with the wider backs. Um, like they'll hold like the physician's formula, butter bronzers and like that thick kind of a compact so I have the Nico Panda collection over there and this is just some more stuff in front so all Mac and then this fourth drawer is all of my Mac Aaliyah this is the little bandana that came with the collection this is from this year's pretty shiny things or shiny pretty things why do I always get that confused shiny pretty things so this was like the face kit i think there was a medium dark and a light medium i wanted them both so because i like this pink one but this was the dark one and that bronzer was a little too dark for me but i wanted it to be pink so i ended up getting the light one also and then i have you know the pretty compacts with the bow on them and then the Mac Patrick Star. This was just so big, so it needed to be in there. And then these are just more Mac, some of the lip glasses, and these are a bunch of the pigments, the loose pigments, all in there. And then the Patrick's powder. I bought a backup, so I have two. And then this was the Mariah Carey and Mac. Like the shimmering powder. I bought two of those too. So one was up here in this drawer. Back here. Her little pretty sparkly box. And the one down there is my backup. So I have two of those and two of the Patrick's. So this organizer is by Sunny Cosmetics also. And it's like four very, very long. Like there's no separating. And once you're in this compartment, there's four that divide it. But you can put anything in here. I like that. So my last drawer is all nails. I love press-on nails. And these are just 
the entire drawer is full of nails um i have a bunch from nail her on instagram i have a bunch that are caption caption nails the brand that sends me nail polishes they also make press-ons those are all of them you can find them at ulta um, i have la colors that i find at walmart I love the LA Colors ones. These are a pair of their nude ones. They're the ones that make those donut nails that I used to wear. Well, I oh, they're right here. Um, these are also by LA Colors. And I bought a few packs of those. So I had to throw the boxes away because they were too bulky. And I also get a bunch of nails from Walgreens, the Kiss brand. All of these on the bottom row are all Kiss. And then these little plastic things here are from Forever 21. So these are just nails. And guys, we made it. We're at 35 minutes. So I'm going to end this video here. And then I'm going to go and start a part two and film what's on top. So please let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And you guys see my notebooks there? That's for my ideas. So leave me a comment what you guys want to see next. And I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. I hope you guys have an awesome new year. And thank you guys for just spending time with me today to watch my video. I love you guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in a minute on the next video. Bye.